Alexa, dim table to 80%. Alexa, go pick yourself and then lower the table light brightness down to 80%. Thank you. Hello, hello everybody, Bayside here and welcome to another VR game. Today I am bringing you a game that I have had on my wish list for like an entire year now. This game finally came out and I am like stupid excited to try it out. Um, this is actually my third time trying to record it. I don't want to talk about the first two. This game is normally $40 on Steam and is currently on sale for $30. Uh, the premise behind the game... I, I have no actually no idea how to describe this game. It is like Risk meets Tower Defense meets Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, it, it's actually really, really fun. I'm going to go ahead and jump in here and show you this. So here we are at the main menu. The premise behind Skyworld is there are a bunch of these little floating worlds out there just floating in the sky. Each one has its own little kingdom and you kind of have to micromanage each one while it's being invaded. So let me go ahead and continue the campaign here. in the air. Now, go, my minions, and wreak havoc! Oh, no. What is happening here? Seize all the crystals. They are mine. The blue ones, too, oh, dark one. Yes, the blue ones. Just take them all. My liege, the demons have taken the crystal mine. That's the most important source of magic. We can't leave it in their hands. Once I control all magic, nothing will be able to stop me. So here is the battlefield. That guy over there is my opponent. Um, let's start with my territory. So here's my little camp. I have my castle. I have yet to hire a general. I have a few little buildings. What I really love is how detailed this is. Like, it's, it's crazy fun to just go in here and play with these things. Like, knock the barrels out. <laughs> oh, can I mess with the bird? No. Anyway. So this dark green area here is uncontrolled, and then over here, all this dark stuff in black and red, that's the enemy territory. They currently have a tower here, one general, two generals, and that's it. That's their main castle. If I blow up their castle, I win the game. Before I get started, let me go ahead and get set up here. Building menu. Just put that right there. This is the way, like, work should be. I want to go to work one day and just like put menus everywhere. I swear this is going to be the future. Mark my words. Okay, so here are my four menus. Let's start off. My resources tell me how uh, how my resources are doing. It looks like I'm currently losing four food per turn, but everything else is decent. I am not gaining workers. That is concerning. I'm not losing either, but I, I need to be gaining workers every turn. Otherwise, I want to be hurt real quick. Here's the buildings I currently can build. This one is grayed out because I don't have the resources for it. Uh, the destruction tool lets me break stuff by just smashing it. Here's my workers. And here are my cards. I will explain those in a little bit. But what I have to do starting out is I have to fix my food and my worker situation. So let's start off by building uh, another mill so I can get more food going. Let's put it there. You have to assign workers to it. Okay, so now my food is neutral, but I'm still losing, or I'm still not gaining on workers. So let me go ahead and switch to the throne room. Here, I can micromanage the taxes and the food rationing. Right now, happiness is at a normal level, and this means I'm not gaining workers. But if I... Let's see. Gold's going up by five because of that. Okay. Let's actually... That's unhappy. You don't have enough food for that setting. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so if I stop taxing people, I will start gaining workers. Uh, but I need gold. Tell you what, I'm going to leave this alone for now. Let's go back to the overworld. I'm going to focus on getting food. And put workers. Okay, 
So now I have spare food. Next turn I'll have 10, which means I will be able to increase the rationing and hopefully get more workers. But I also need to hire... Oops. Not enough resources. Oh, I need gold. Oh no. I spent all my gold. I can't hire a general this turn. Alright, well, let's go ahead and end my turn then. Every turn is a different season. So that was summer, now I'm in fall. You can see all the uh, the colors of the land changed. Winter's really nice because it gets really frosty and like the water freezes over and stuff. But I now have money. So let me go ahead and hire this guy. Stamp him in. And let's move him out. I have to get ready because those guys are going to start coming real quick. I don't have enough money to build anything yet. That sucks. I think my turn's over. So end it. So here's winter. Let's move again. And let's capture this thing. That takes... Uh, that's going to hurt my resources. This region now belongs to us. Annoying little pests. We should take back the mine from this filth. Okay. I still don't have enough resources to build anything. That sucks. I mean, this, like, this map is hard. I'm going to increase food rationing. Let's go to the throne room. Okay. I am now at a minus one setting. That's fine. I can afford that for a while. Back to the overworld. And let's go. Okay, let's move my general. I'm going to park him right here at the edge. I don't want to actually invade just yet. But I do have the ability to build another mill. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Put that back. This has a plus one to lumber, it looks like. Oh, stone. Plus one to stone. Okay. Well, I will be putting a stone mill there eventually. Now let's put two workers into that. Perfect. My resources are exactly how I want them to be now. Okay, so... I have a feeling I'm going to have to attack next turn. So let me show you exactly what I'm doing with my cards here. I am going to go to the laboratory to research. So I have already researched the basic sword fighter and the battering ram. I have the ability to research the knight. This guy right here is actually pretty sick nasty. So throw him in, Your stamp it down. Is dangerously low, my liege. My magic level is at 4. That's fine for now. I already have the basic archer, and I can research a catapult or a fire bowman. I think I am going to do the fire bowman. Do I have enough? Oh no, I'm out of iron. Holy crap. I didn't even notice that. Alright, well that sucks. So let's go to the blacksmith. Let me see if I can upgrade anything. I have a feeling every one of these guys is going to take iron. Yeah, dang it, everything takes iron. So, I am screwed for now. Let's go back to the overworld. And let's get ready for battle. I am coming in, people. Your little stab is meaningless. <laughs> and my let's turn. Attack the general. It will all be mine. Mine. <laughs> Okay, so he just declared an attack on me. Is under attack. Battle is imminent. As soon as I end my turn, the battle's gonna start. My food situation just took a crapper because I hired another card. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so I can't really do anything this turn. Let's go ahead and end it and start the battle. To to battle. The sky world. Fear my unstoppable army. All right, so here is where this game takes like a Yu-Gi-Oh turn. You can see I have my uh, mana here, and then if I pull up my cards, I can start plopping down cards. What I need to do, I'm just getting guys on the board really quick. What I need to do is I need to make sure I capture these three gold circles, because when I do, you'll see these blimps appear. These blimps will start shooting at his forces. The bad part is, he can do the same thing. 
I just have to make sure I control the blimps. We each have two towers and a castle. If I blow up the castle, I win. So let me help out that guy. Oh, that didn't do much. Um, I have another knight. Let me drop drop a knight on this guy. Come on, any more mana? More mana, please. I can't believe I'm already hitting the castle that hard. That is like a crazy fast victory. Oh my god, did I just win? <laughs> Snap! I have never won that quickly before. Praise be, you are victorious. Wow, man. Cherish your puny, insignificant little victory. It won't matter. Okay, so now I have... That's weird. My food instantly shot up. I don't know why that is. If any of you know why all of a sudden my food is going up instead of down, let me know. Because I still have the same five cards. But let me go ahead and drop down a sawmill because I need more lumber. I will just put you here. And let's assign two workers. Perfect. Okay, so he is attacking me again. Let's go ahead and jump into battle. Let's see if I can do that same victory again. Straight up the middle. I'm just sending everything. Oh, it, as I'm placing a card, if I rotate my hand, you'll see the path that my units take changes. So like right here, I can tell them to go this way or that way. Let's go straight up the middle. And he's defending this time. And let's drop you. Nice. Okay, let's get that knight out. The knight is like such an OP unit. Alright, he's going to start taking these, these blimps on me. I gotta do something about that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, let's go those guys. Oh wow, he is wrecking me. Come on, come on, come on. Battering ram straight up the middle. Oh man, that knight is just wrecking face. <laughs> we have destroyed an enemy tower. <laughs> that meant nothing to me. Okay, so as long as I can just distract these things here, that should be enough to kill the tower. Oh, he just spawned some units. Let's get ready to fireball this. Spawn more. Okay. So let's go swordsman. An enemy tower has been destroyed. Insolent fool. Let's go archers. I think my two blimps are gonna kill his his castle for me. I wish there was a way to get magic faster. Like, this is taking forever. Boom! Alright, the only thing left to do is to take my guy the region is neutral again. and capture the territory. Now smash those enemy buildings with your hammer. Put that back. So I blew up his buildings. I got some extra resources for it. I am going to not have enough resources to claim the territory. But that is pretty much how the game goes. You work your way around. If you eventually blow up their castle, then you win the level and you move to the next Sky World. But um, let's see. I still don't have any iron. I got to build an iron mine soon, which I'll have to do off camera. But uh, once I have more iron, I can go down to the blacksmith here. 
and I can start upgrading my characters. So you can see this guy is going to get 6 extra hit points, his damage is going to go up by 1.2, damage per second up by 1.2. But iron is my crutch right now. I could, uh, I could totally do it if I had iron. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. How'd you guys like the video? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you own the game, let me know why my resources were changing. One turn it was minus one, next turn it was plus five. Plus four, whatever. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, let me know. That's about all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps me out in more ways than one. And until next time, everybody, peace out.